Want to get paid for buying things you were going to buy anyway? Today, we're going to discuss a cash app that helps you do that, Ibotta. And at the very end, I'm going to tell you exactly how much my family was able to make in 2021 from this app. Hi, I'm Tyler from The Rideshare Guy. On today's episode, we're going to be talking about this awesome cash app back called Ibotta. My family, my wife and I have been using this since 2016. We've made uh, quite a bit of money. Um, using this app saved us a ton of money buying things we were going to buy anyway and we were able to kick it up into a whole nother gear last year uh, using it regularly and we're going to dive in and explain how we were able to do that and I'll show you exactly how much we made um, ju in just one year with this app. So first uh, I bought a what is it similar to other cashback apps that you're familiar with where you buy things and you get percentages back uh, some of them give you points, some of them give you actual money back. The Ibotta app is one that actually gives you money. So when you're in the app, you'll be able to see an item that you're going to get 50 cents back, a dollar back. I've seen several dollars back on some items. Typically things are going to be 25, 50 cents back. You know, you think like a bag of chips or a soda, uh, but you can get bottles of wine or six packs of beer or so many other things in there. That are going to give you several dollars back when you purchase them. Uh, when it was first introduced to me, a friend of mine was using it and they said they used it to help them pick a new beer every time they were going to go to the store to pick out their beer. They would just pull out the Ibotta app and it would tell them what beer he was going to get the most money off of and that's the beer that he got that week. So he said he had tried a lot of beers that he'd never heard of before all because of the Ibotta app and he had saved quite a bit of money uh, because of it so a really great thing for him and it could be a nice little treat for you to kind of branch out and try something new and at the same time save money or it can be what you're going to buy anyway most of the time you're going to find something that you like that the Ibotta app is going to do that so how do you make money so there's several ways that you can make money or save money uh, I like to consider making money because you're getting this money back and you can cash it out um, for actual money. So um, how can you do that? Well, number one, you have the app. You can scan an item in the store to pick and see if that item is going to give you any cash back. Um, you can, while you're in a store, you can type out exactly what you're looking for. So rather than the brand or that specific item, you can type, I'm looking for cheese. What cheese is on sale? I'm looking for ice cream. What ice cream is on sale? You can do things such as that. Uh, you can also look through the app when you're at home and decide what you want to get or even if you want to uh, get something right from your phone you can buy and purchase with the ibotta you can even have things delivered you can do online shopping right through the app another if not my favorite way that the ibotta app has really uh, helped us to make some extra money is by having the chrome extension downloaded on our computer so what we've been able to do is when we do our grocery shopping we actually check everything with the ibotta chrome extension attached to it all of the money come uh, back options that that store we typically are shopping at walmart um, and you're able to get that cash back right from that app uh, right from the extension on your computer so you create a grocery list you go on you shop it uh, gets you money back right away. What about us as drivers? As we're out there, how can the Ibotta app help us to save or take home even more of our money? Well, uh, number one, you can click on a particular type of store that you're at. So you can pick gas stations, which we're going to be at gas stations a lot. And when we're at gas stations, if you're anything like me, odds are you're not just getting gas there. You're probably going in, you're getting a drink, you're getting a snack. You can get cash back directly from the app by getting items that there's cash back offers for. Um, you can pick up, uh, I know if you're at a 7-Eleven, you can just go to 7-Eleven on the app and it'll tell you what items in the store you're going to get cash back for and how much. Um, when I looked earlier, you could get cookies back. You could buy the little cookies. You got 50 cents back on those. There was some coffee drinks that you got a dollar back. There was some wine that you got three or four dollars back, but if we're out driving, making money, we're not going to buy that. Maybe for later, um, but that's there as an option. You're not going to get money back at, for the gas purchase itself, um, but there are a lot of other things and aspects in there for the gas station that you're going to make some money back from. In addition, um, you also have the ability to buy gift cards in this app, which is another thing that I absolutely love. So for instance, you're going to go to a restaurant you want to get some food from there or whether that you have other stores too, like Starbucks, 
Um, you have Best Buy, Bed Bath & Beyond, all of these stores you can get gift cards from, and you get cash back, usually 1% or 2% cash back for buying a gift card. So if you know uh, that you want to go to a particular restaurant, look in the app, see if that app has that cash back uh, gift card. I noticed uh, in my area there was Taco Bell, um, there was a Burger King had some in there. So you, if you like those fast food places, there was also some uh, higher end or not higher end, but not fast food sit down like uh, Olive Garden, Longhorn, things like that. You can actually get a gift card, get cash back for buying that gift card uh, for something that you were going to do anyway. And as a bonus tip um, for that, if you want to uh, really kick it into the next gear to get something, so say you're going to Bed Bath & Beyond, you know you're going to buy something at Bed Bath & Beyond, you buy that gift card, you get the 1% back, or when I recorded this video before I looked at it and Bed Bath & Beyond was actually giving 8% back uh, when you purchase the gift card. So you buy that gift card, then you go into Bed Bath & Beyond, you're searching for an item, unless it's a specific item that you know you want that specific one. Uh, maybe it's just you want something in this vein of things. So you can pick what you want based off what you're going to get cash back from. So you've got that 8% cash back from Bed Bath & Beyond for buying the gift card. You purchase the item with that gift card and you get additional cash back for buying that specific item at Bed Bath & Beyond. That's not the only store that does that. There's a lot of stores in there, the app to check out. Uh, Target's definitely in there. There's a lot of great places that you can make some extra money. And for a bonus, bonus tip to that, if you want to make even more money and you have a cashback credit card, buy that gift card with a cashback credit card, get the cashback on the credit card, and the chain continues. Small ca caveat to that, uh, if you're not good with credit, if you're trying to get out of debt at uh, trying to get out of debt, don't add fuel to the fire. <laughs> don't get further into debt thinking that this is going to save you um, so much money. If it's something you're going to buy and you have a handle on your credit and your debt, then by all means, but don't make a situation worse. And always, always when you use a credit card or debt, make sure that you are not buying something that you don't actually have the money to do. So it's not money that you're getting for nothing. You have to pay that money back. So make sure you're not overspending because you have a credit card. Finally, uh, the last way to get money using the app, whether you're using the app in person or you're using the um, Chrome extension online, finally, you can also refer friends. So once you get signed up and you're making money on your own with this app, you can actually send the link to others. Uh, they will get a nice little sign-on bonus of a few dollars, but you'll also get a sign-on bonus, usually $10, $15 that you're able to spend uh, as well. So a great way, once you're actually already using the app, you're familiar with it, you can tell your friends about it, and when they sign up using your referral link, you're going to make some money as well. And so now you've used the app, how do you actually get money back? Well, there's three ways that Ibotta does to actually give you money back. So first, you can cash out to PayPal. And so that'll go right into the, your PayPal account, and then you can transfer it however you want. Um, you can also actually set up a direct deposit directly into your bank account um, so that that money goes directly right where you want it. Or third, you can also get gift cards to other places such as Starbucks, which is my wife's favorite place to get gift cards ever. Um, so you use that. You can use the money directly to get gift cards for any of the stores that they have on there. Uh, to offer. Now they do have a minimum. You have to have reached $20 in all three of those categories. So whether you're cashing out to PayPal, bank account, or getting a gift card, you have to have got at least $20 in rewards, which honestly, if you're using it for all of these things, that's not going to take long to do at all. So definitely something that you're, is attainable and you want to get out there and start using this app as quickly as possible. And so how much were we able to use? Now we've used this app over the years, but again, 2021, we really kicked it into the next gear, started using it for our groceries all the time. And we were actually able to make over $300 using this app, buying things that we were going to buy anyway. Uh, we didn't alter what we were going to buy. We didn't change anything other than if we wanted snack bar, sometimes we would buy one brand of granola bar versus another. Or if we wanted chips, sometimes we'd buy Doritos and sometimes we'd buy something else based on what the cashback offer was. But we didn't really change what we wanted, just some slight things like that. But you're able to make a lot of money, us over $300, just the two of us are not a huge family. The, obviously, the more you spend, 
the more you're going to make. So um, it's a great way if you're spending money on groceries or anything, which all of us are, you can get some money back. So hopefully you find this video helpful. Uh, please, if you have any questions, comments, or if you just share how much you've made or saved with Ibotta in the comments, we really appreciate it. We read every single one. Please subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out. And stay safe out there, everyone. Thank you.